Hello, uh, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to assemble a nice looking World of Warcraft tabard style image in GIMP. Uh, we will be using uh, a screenshot from this site, I will put it in the, in the uh, movie description. Uh, but basically it allows you to pick out the tabard, so do that, pick a dark color for background and a bright one for the foreground. And proceed by opening it in GIMP. Uh, I'm using uh, GIMP 2.7.3, so uh, some steps of this tutorial might be different. I will try to point those out. We start by uh, Selecting the tabard and cropping, crop to selection, and we can then zoom in to get a better view. Uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, mask out the tabard. Uh, there are several ways that we can do this, but I am gonna use a layer mask. And for this, we go simply with grayscale copy for layer, which should give us a very transparent tabard against full, fully transparent background. Uh, next step would be to uh, make the mask a simple uh, true uh, two-color mask. So we go ahead, go ahead and use the threshold filter that and just slide it down until you see your icon. Now we can do uh, anything we like really with the actual uh, tablet image. For example we can just do a crazy gradient if you like, but for this tutorial I'm gonna stick with a shiny orange color. Uh, Another upside or advantage of this is that we can also blur just the mask. Just make sure you click on the mask layer first and use filters, blur and Gaussian blur. Just use a low value or it might get too smudgy. There we go. Um, now we have our dragon in the color we want. And we can then auto crop the layer to make it just cover the part we are after. Uh, we're going to need a bit more of room as well, so we increase the canvas size a bit, center our dragon, and there we go. We have the dragon in the middle and plenty of room to play with the rest. I have already prepared my textures here uh, and I think we are gonna use this one. So simple drag and drop will load the texture as a new layer. So we put it behind. You can see the dragon against the background but it's still not looking very pretty, I must say. So let's go ahead and desaturate it since we do want the dark background. And for some reason, it refuses to work on the background layer. Let's try again. Just to, we let's try to scale it down first, and then crop it to layer to image size. There we go. Now we might have better luck. And also, make sure to remove any selection. Uh, there is a problem in GIMP. Uh, 
2.7.3 that makes the selections in visible times. I think that's what was cursing me. Yeah, there we go. Now we have the gray background. Let's make it a bit a bit darker. You can use the curves for that. Just make sure that we still maintain some texture to it. And there we go. Uh, we also would like a little frame around it. Uh, so let's try to add order here. Let's make it perfect. There we go. And all the way down. There we go. Uh, we use, oops, we use the new layer for that purpose. And simply fill it with black. Copy. Paste and move it over to the other side. go and align it. Perfect. Uh, now we have the completely back border. Uh, so we decrease the opacity just to make it somewhat darker. Something like that. Okay, now that we have the uh, our three base layers. Uh, we can also add text if we like. But after all the modifications are done, we right click, select new layer from visible, and we can hide the other ones. Now we have the entire image in one layer, and we keep those additional layers if we need to go back and make any changes. Uh, to give this a uh, bit of a whirly pattern effect, uh, we create a new layer and we can fill it with any color because it will still be replaced by a filter. Uh, let's add the difference clouds and we can give it the touch we like. That looks pretty neat. And with that layer in place, we can hide it again, go back to our visible layer. I'm also going to increase the canvas a notch to see if that allows the world to grow. Precise no layers, but let's make that layer image sized. So we have the full area. Uh, now in filters map, we start with a bump map to give it somewhat a 3D-ish look. If we enlarge this we can see what's happening. The depth defines the depth of the effect, uh, elevation, how much it's uh, bumped. So let's give it a little. There we go. Uh, and also make sure that your new hidden layer is selected as the bump map and click OK. There we go. And for the final touch, we use the map filter and then displace to apply it in the same fashion to our image and you can tweak these values a bit for displacement it 
we just move the stuff around a bit to give it a bit more of a 3D look. That was perhaps a bit too bump mapped, so let's go back and redo that part. Map, bump map. And reduce depth a notch. I think that might be better. Yeah. Filters, map, displays. And OK. And there you are. A uh, swirly looking tabard style guild logo thingy made entirely in GIMP. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you're lucky, I might make something else at another time. <laughs>